You have reached Red Steel's awesome toy collector review. I'm your man, Red Steel, and today I'll be reviewing Transformers Legacy Skywalker. Transformers Legacy Skywarp. But before I get to the actual review, I just want to go over some of the stunning details on this packaging. Up front here you have a typical display window showing you both the figure and all of his accessories inside. Then at the top of the box here you have the Transformer Legacy logo. Then on the card back flap right here you have a beautiful illustration of Skywarp in his jet mode. Then on the side of the box here, you have another beautiful illustration of Skywarp, but he's in his robot mode. Then on the other side of the box here, you have the spectacular montage of the Decepticons from Legacy, starting with Megatron, Decepticon Dragstrip, Iguanas, Skywarp, Kickback, and over here you have a picture of Cybertron. Then on the back of the box here, you have all the figure's features, such as Skywarp in his jet mode, and Skywarp in his robot mode. Transformers Legacy Core Class Skywarp. Skywarp was released on January 1st, 2022 with the suggested retail price of $11.99 and it's available at all major retailers. Skywarp was released along with other Transformer Legacy Core Class Wave 1 figures, Autobot Hot Rod and Iguanas. Skywarp is a G1 inspired figure that converts into his jet mode in 17 steps. His accessories include an Energon warp fork and instructions. Skywarp stands 3.5 inches tall and he's meant for fans ages 8 and up. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and convert Skywarp from his robot mode all the way to his jet mode. But the first thing you always want to do before you transform any of your Transformers, you want to remove all of their weapons and accessories. So I'm going to take Skywarp's Energon Warp Fork. I'm going to go ahead and put it off to the side. It was the first step of the transformation. It's a little tricky. You want to take these silver panels right here, you want to fold them back. So I'm going to go ahead and pop open this silver panel like that. And you also want to make sure you fold back the wing. And this side was a little tricky because I was trying to open the silver piece right here. It wouldn't come off. That's because the instructions aren't very clear. You need to take the cockpit now and pop it up. And fold it back and you want to make sure the wings go back again. Then next up the transformation, you want to take Skywarp's head right here. You want to flip it down. Then you want to go ahead and turn Skywarp around because he's got this backpack right here which is actually the nose cone for the jet. You want to flip it forward. You also want to these silver pylons right here and right here on the flip mode forward because you want to make clearance because this whole back piece right here needs to rotate all the way around. And that's why they're going to have you take these legs and kind of bend them forward a little bit here. So now you can take this whole piece right here and just rotate it all the way around. So it should look like this now. The next part of the transformation, they want you to take the legs, they want you to peg them together. There's a hole right there, there's a peg right there. It's easy. Peg it right in like that. Then the next step of the transformation, they want you to take these thrusters right here and meet it with the back of the jet right here. So you want to go ahead and do that right there. So it looks like that so far. Then the next step of the transformation, you want to do the same for the front part of the jet right here. You want to go ahead and make sure it meets up with the jet. You want to make sure the cockpit lines up too. Just all come together like that. The next piece of the transfer part of the transformation, they want you to take Skywarp's head and they want you to go ahead and turn it around. You'll see why in the next step of the transformation because you're taking this whole piece right here and you're pushing it right into the nose cone. And they want you to have his head facing into the nose cone so it's disguised while he's in his jet mode. Then the next part of the transformation, they want you to go ahead and take the chest piece right here and right here. They want you to go ahead and just close it right up. Like that. It's just 
all tab together like that. The next part of the transformation, they want you to go and rotate the fist. Because on the inside of the fist, or the forearm, there's a peg right there and a peg right there. On the bottom of Skywalker's wing, there's a hole right there and right there. You want to make sure to rotate it so the peg goes right into that hole. Right in like that. So I'm going to do it to the other side. I'm going to take this fist, rotate it towards the plane, and I'm going to peg that peg on his form right into the wing like that. The next part of the transformation, he wants to go and look at his tail tail wings right here, and I'm going to flip mine out because the instructions want you to flip them out like that, and it pegs right in like that. I'll show you again on this side. On the inside of this tail fin right here, you got a peg right here. You got a peg or a hole right there, you got a peg right there, you just want to make sure it rotates like that, pegs right in, very old school. You got these flaps right here, fold them out, and now you have Skywarp in his jet mode. Now that I have Skywarp in his jet mode, and on my display table, I just want to go over some of his plate features and accessories, first by talking about his Energon Warp Core. According to the instructions, the way to arm this Energon Warp Core while Skywarp is in his jet mode. And you do that by taking this Warp Core, and on the bottom here, you have this small peg right there. On the bottom of Skywarp's jet, near the no tip of the nose cone, you have a small little porthole. You want to plug this Energon Warp Core right into that porthole right there. And now you have Skywarp on in his jet mode. I'm going to rotate him around so you can see what it looks like from all angles because he is an excellent jet. I mean, he's supposed to be very reminiscent of the F-15 fighter pilot jets from back in the 80s. And these jets were very popular back then. I mean, they're featured in movies such as Top Gun and they're featured in cartoon series such as Generation 1 Transformers and G.I. Joe. I mean, around the time they aired, they kind of fell out of favor because the newer models came out. But if you're a kid of the 80s, you knew what an F-15 was and you idolized these jets growing up. Now that Skywarp in his robot mode, I once again just want to go over some of his play features and accessories. But before I do that, I just want to talk about a cool feature that they're doing with Transformers Legacy. And that is, they're including these QR codes. And once you scan these QR codes, it takes you right to the Transformer website where you can view that Transformers tech spec. The QR codes for the core class figures are printed right on the back of their instructions. For deluxe class, Voyager class, leader class figures, this QR code is printed right on the back of the package. And let me show you how this works. Just so go and you grab your camera, and you scan that QR code. And open up a little box, you just tap that box, and it takes you right to the website. The website starts you off with a picture of that transformer here. You have Skywarp, and he's slightly animated. You can see some energy burst from his chest. You can see him holding his Energon Warp fork. He's just moving up and down. He's got a little bit of animation there. And below that picture, you have his bio. Skywarp, Decepticon. Alt mode, jet, function, warrior, special unit, seeker, origin universe, G1, which means generation one, signature weapon, energon warp form, infuses teleportation ability with energon to unleash unstable energy, bio, sky warp may not be too bright, but the teleportation ability makes him a dangerous foe, skills, Strength 8, Intelligence 6, Speed 4, and Firepower 7. But I'm going to move this off to the side because I want to talk about Skywarp. And Skywarp is a redeco of Kingdom Core Class Starscream. And a redeco primarily is just a repaint, and they just happen to mold him in different color plastic. But the transformation is identical, the robot modes are identical, and the jet modes are identical. You even have a little portal for Starscream Snow Race. They're still, still molded into Skywarp's arms. The only difference between two figures is Skywarp came with his Energon Warp Fork. In order to arm this Energon Warp Fork, you, you got a little peg right here. You can also arm it right there and right there. You just plug that peg right into his fist, and now you have Skywarp armed with his Energon Fork. And the cool thing about this figure, and it's worth noting right now, is they did alter the transformation. And that's the first time I've seen this transformation altered for a Seeker. Because most standard transformations for Seekers is, you have that cone chest right here, it flips out. And you usually have the cone right here, and it 
it folds right into the cockpit. Arms fold in, legs fold up, and you flip the wings down. That's pretty much the standard transformation for Generation 1 and for for um, the War for Cybertron trilogy and any other Seeker transformation. Even for the Generation version of the Seekers. Well, this transformation was slightly altered, and I have to tell you guys, for a figure at this scale, even with the, the transformation, both the jet mode and robot mode are very, very faithful to the animated model from the Generation 1 cartoon series. I mean, there's a lot of articulation, lots of detail, great engineering. So none of that was lost, even with this altered transformation. And I do own a Generation Skywarp and a Warp for Cybertron Trilogy Skywarp. I just don't have them right here to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I do have my Studio Series Starscream out to kind of gotta give you guys that scale comparison. And he's kind of in that position where he's, you know, he just got, got crowned as the Decepticon leader. But once I bring Skywarp right next to Starscream, he barely comes up to his hips. Or his hip. So that shows you the, the scale of what's, where Skywarp's at. Plus, it just shows you how great this detail is for a figure at this scale. Because, you know, someone like me from Generation 1, a figure at this scale would probably be a mini bot, and those figures did not have a whole lot of articulation, not a whole lot of detail. So you can see over time how they improved a lot of the engineering, just a lot of detail, and a lot of playability, and how they improved a lot of these Transformers over time. Another cool feature about this figure, too, is it's a gimmick that was included with this figure, and I think this is a gimmick that would draw on children, because Skywarp's Energon Fork merges with the other figures from Wave 1, namely Autobot Hot Rod and Iguanas. So all the core class figures had these weapons. This Energon Sword came with Autobot Hot Rod, and this Claw Shield, Energon Claw Shield, came with Iguanas. There's a way to merge all three of these weapons. First you take Skywarp's Energon Warp Fork, you grab Iguanas' Energon um, <clears throat> claw shield. You just merge that together like that. And the one thing that bothers me about that is you got this peg right here that kind of gets in the way, so it doesn't it doesn't make a clean fit. And you go ahead and you grab a hot rod uh, energon sword and you just plug that right on the top. And that's how you form the energon sword. But since it isn't really Skywarp's weapon, and on Hot Rod's box he's armed with this, I'm not gonna arm hot, uh, Skywarp with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and give him back his energon war fork. If you guys are interested in owning your own copy of Core Class Skywarp, I did include a link in the description below. And once you click that link, it'll take you to the Amazon store where you can purchase your own version of Transformer Legacy Core Class Skywarp. But if you choose not to purchase Skywarp and make any other purchase after clicking that link, it will greatly help that channel grow so I can provide more content for the future. If you found any of the information valuable in this review, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting Rad Steel's awesome toy collector review. I'll check you guys out next time.